Hi guys, welcome to a new video on fake and real just for you. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble your M20. Now, I haven't seen any videos that describe exactly how to disassemble it. So I did a little bit of experimenting myself without damaging any components. So if you're curious or you want to replace something or anything else, this is the video for you. So let's get started. First, you do need to remove the battery and the SD card that you have inside. Now once you remove it, you can start disassembling it. So the first thing you need to do, maybe use your nails or something that is a little sharper but in most cases your nails can work fine as well the corners work the best so what you're gonna do is actually pry your nails in between and start peeling the cover back so in some cases it goes very simple and sometimes you need a little bit more pressure so again this is how it looks like let me change the light a little bit. All right, so I changed the lighting again, and hopefully you can see it better by now. So first, we, I took the corners, right? So once you have a small corner, you can just push it out with your nails. Now, if you have a sharp tool, you can also wedge it in between this line here, and then you can just click it open. Once you've done that, you remove the cover. And this is how it looks like let me get a good lighting angle here wait a minute let me try something else so i changed the, the camera position hopefully this is better for you guys but again you have always the corners here are the weak points so the best point is to actually go in this corner here or this corner and just put your nail in between and just pop it open and if you have a sharp tool you can do that as well. Once that happens, you can pop it out, no screws. So once you remove that, your front side is exposed. Now, as you can see, this is also the LED lights indicators. You have some components there and I have the Wi-Fi. All right, so the second phase is the back. Now we're, now we're going to remove the back and this is a small flat screw on top here you can see two clamps one and two be gentle here don't force it what you want is a small opening on top here so you you already see the line here so the opening is also here so when you push that, this will open and give you a small gap. Once you got that, just put your screw in and click it open. I'll show you. So first, push it down and push it back. Now once you've done that, you can now see there's a very small gap opened up and also in the corner here. But just to be safe, we're going to do the other side as well. So push down and push back. Once you've done that, it flips open. If you want to play it safe, keep it on the first try. Just put your screw in there, like what I'm doing right now, and just turn it. Do that on the top here when you did the first time. Once you've done that, it will open on both sides just turn it and you can remove the cover this is how it looks like on the back now this is the back now you open fully up the screen is loose now the most easiest way to do this is actually take your screw flat and just push it up. It's like peeling something off with a knife, but then you're going to use your flat screw head, push against this piece in between here, and just push it out. 
once you're done that, you separated the back completely. Now the part I'm, I was talking about was this gap here. See that? You have the surface here, the magnetic surface, and then you have in, this part in between. Just put this like this, put your flat screw like this, and just pry it off. Very easy and smooth. Not too much force. Once you've done that, you can remove your screen. Be careful not to touch the screen. So you you have two points, one here and one here, that go in secure holes that actually keep the screen in place. Just take your finger and your thumb and just push it out. Then push it down. And this is how the back looks like. You have this circuit board, you have your components. Now you want to remove your screen. You have two levers here. Let me show you, give, give you a close up. Uh, this, this right here, you're going to push down. So we're going to push this one down. Let me get the correct lighting here. So you're going to push this one down. And then you're going to push this one down. You're going to take your screen and just very gently and lightly push it down and it releases. Put the screen upside down on a clean surface. So now you remove that. So I guess this is the memory chip and this could be the processor. So I took a small screwdriver, also known as a Phillips screwdriver. You have one here, second one there, third one there, and a fourth right on this side here. First, I'm going to push this up here, see what kind of connection we are dealing with here. So you also have a screw on the back side there. So the first thing we're going to do is remove that sticker. It's going to start at the top and we're going to push it all the way. It's going to remove it all the way. i to put this over here. So this is the connection. So that is a pull lever. So you just push that up and then you can remove the cable. If you, have, if you have some pliers or anything that will make the job a little easier. Let me get a much closer view here for you guys. So four on the top and one right down there and the other one as well. So that is six screws in total. All right, so let's remove the screws here. So if I'm not mistaken here, this could probably be the camera. So if you can see here, you can see those that one screw here on this on this side there that and on the other side that's the two big screws this one and this one so I'm not going to remove those first I'm going to do the other ones once you got them all out let's see if we can push this out so the thing now is, is this and this here are fastened so what we're going to do is actually very gently pry it off. Now I know I'm not using the right tools here, but if you have it, use it by all means. I'm just feeling it very gently. Voila. So I'm going to push this out. 
This is how it looks like. So we're going to very gently try to remove this part. If you have a better way to doing this, please, by all means, do it. But I also noticed if you just push your screw, flat screw, from down to up, it will slowly but gently release itself. Again, be gentle. Take your time. Don't rush it. You do not want to damage any of your components. So, there we go. So I start twisting it because the double-sided glue didn't want to let go. So I got this, but anyways, now we got it loosened from its position. You still have a little sticker here, so when you put it back, it will get back in place. So the problem now is, so you have this lens, it's a little too big. So we're going to just wiggle it back and forth to the left and right until we get it loose on both sides so it just barely fits so I'm going to try one other thing I'm going to actually remove this top piece here so this is removable put that there so try to get this lens up it's not really going as well so what we're going to do now is actually remove it open up the screws the two I didn't want to remove so now I am so that one is loose now we remove the camera lens also cool if you want to replace the camera lens because it got damaged or... So now that the lens is removed, you can actually put this down a little, push this up, push this plate up and just pop it out. There you go. And now you have this cover. Now this is also a good thing to if you want to replace the complete cover. If you want to change it to a different color or just replace it because it's damaged. So now we have this. Now I just again use your more sensible mind and just remove that and now we have a complete disassembled part this of course is the SD slot and then you have the other components you also have a microphone I want to replace this microphone with a little better quality microphone this of course is the back again and that was the end of this video hope you enjoyed the disassembly of this SG cam M20 give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time